Successive generations have been fortunate enough to turn a blind eye to planning for their retirement. They had final salary pension schemes in place or could rely upon the government. That's not the case anymore. From 2010 to 2030, the percentage of the population aged over 65 is expected to increase by 50%. As people live for more than 20 years into retirement, they need to ask themselves how they expect to fund this. 7IM was established in 2002 by seven stalwarts of the investment management community to help people find an answer. We were angry, fed up with what we saw was happening to people's money and the way it was being run and what was happening in the financial services industry. There had to be a better way. We wanted to be able not only to have something that we were comfortable in ourselves, but also we were comfortable in introducing to mom and to dad and to Aunt Tilly. Uh, and the kind of things that most people want is someone that they can trust, somebody that's clear, that's transparent, that can describe what they do, can provide it with good service, do it at a sensible cost, and tell people the truth. Many private client fund managers would charge dealing commissions, they charge initial charges, they would charge ongoing management fees, so that investors never really knew actually how much was it costing. For us, at the outset, it was always going to be a single fee-based service, so that you knew in an instant what it was costing you to manage your money. We wanted to build a reputation for doing what it says on the tin, if you will, or actually delivering what it is that you say you're going to deliver. One of the ways to make sure that those things really happen correctly is put your own money in there. So I, Justin, and the rest of the management team, we have our own money in these portfolios into the same place that our clients have their money. From the outset, 7IM had a very clear and straightforward investment philosophy. Our whole approach to investment management has been on the basis of trying to take away the shocks, take away the nasties, make it as consistent as possible. Some might even say it could be dull. But actually when it comes to my long-term pension money, I don't mind dull. It's a long-term cook. And like good, good long-term casseroles, they take hours, days and years to cook properly. Investing is not about guessing. It's not about betting. It's actually trying to put some rigour and discipline into it. And how do you do that? First of all, you go back to the club. What do they need to achieve by when? How much risk are they willing to tolerate? How do we achieve that? So look at a range of all those different things you can invest in, not just shares, but also bonds and all different types of bonds, to commodities and property and private equity and cash, all those are elements. And they all behave in a rather different way. And we know that the volatility of each of these will vary. Blend them together and then having a team watching it day by day, looking at the currencies, making sure it's doing what it's best to be doing. That takes structure, that takes process, and that is a discipline. After a client has been referred to 7IM by an advisor who has helped them put together a financial plan, they are allocated a client relationship manager to help them achieve it. Developing strong, ongoing client relationships is another strength of 7IM. Clients tend to, once they start working with us, want to continue working with us for years. We fulfil a reasonably important role, bearing in mind that we're looking after, in many cases, the fruits of someone's entire working life's labour. You know, we're looking after all of their finances. So it's important that they have a relationship with someone that they can trust, someone that they can rely on, and importantly, someone that they can get access to whenever they need to. Whenever clients phone 7IM, they will always get through to a person. We don't use voicemail, we don't have automated response messages, and invariably the person that they'll want to phone is the person that will pick up the phone. Our clients are based all around the UK, uh, and indeed across Europe now increasingly as well. So we really visit our clients as often or as infrequently as they need us to. Our sense is that if you have a reasonably good plan, then you don't need to be reviewing it every five minutes, but we certainly like to meet with all of our clients at least once a year, maybe twice a year in some cases. 7IM are driven by helping clients understand what their money is doing for them and have been ahead of the pack in using technology to achieve this. Clients have long been able to view their portfolios online before it was commonplace. The launch of 7Imagine, an app, is further evidence of their ability to push the boundaries. Clients and wealth managers can, can log on to the app um, to, to see their portfolios and, it, and it's all there in a very, very easy, structured way. Um, and it gets them interactive because literally they kind of double click on you know, different items. All the graphics are amazing because gamers from the gaming industry developed it and produced it. It goes down into their portfolio, but not only that, but where it's invested in the world. 
there's this globe they can drill down to actually how much do they have invested in South America, in Mexico, in the UK, in, in Europe. It gets people more interested, which means that they want to talk about it more. It just enables us to you know, build that relationship to make it stronger and stronger and stronger. 7IM have achieved considerable success during a difficult time in the financial markets by following some very simple tenets. After 10 years, they've grown from 7 to 150 people and have over £5.2 billion pounds of assets under management. I'm really proud of actually what's happened so far, and it is so far, because there's a lot more to do, from starting in our little basement and uh, actually, you know, putting your houses on the line to get it going because you thought this is the right thing to do. I think we've been able to prove quite a lot of it and prove some of those people who said we couldn't do it, wrong and be able to show to people that you can do it the right way, that you can build things up slowly and steadily. And if you could do that and give people back that confidence, and then I'm you know, delighted and proud to have a group of people around me who've got that same enthusiasm to do it, you've done more things right than wrong, and that's good. The future is going to be challenging. I think for 7IM, what we're looking at right now is a brilliant future. We've got a bit of momentum behind us, we've achieved enough scale so that we have some strength. Uh, we have achieved enough profitability that we're not worried where the next pound comes from. We're allowed to take a 18, 24, 36 month view of what's coming and take our time and plan for it correctly. But we don't have all the legacy systems that will prevent us from doing it if we make the decisions to change something. That I think is where I want to be.